doing well this morning. Our next keynote speaker is someone who was the longest serving Senate confirmed Treasury official in the United States. She was inducted into the Maryland Women's Hall of Fame in 2019 and became the first Hispanic female to have a portrait at Harvard University. Please welcome to the stage the Honorable Rossi Rios, the 33rd Treasurer of the United States of America and board member of Unicorn Hunters and Unicorn. Good morning, Your Highness. Thank you so much for this invitation to the Future Innovation Summit. This is now my third trip to Dubai in about a month's time, and certainly not my last. I am in awe of its beauty, but it's mostly the people and this mindset of being open for business that is the most meaningful to me. Today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite topics, the future of investments, the future of money, and specifically cryptocurrencies. I'm going to start with a little bit of my background. I'm a trained analyst. After graduating from Harvard, my first job was a commercial property underwriter for general reinsurance. So I am trained in managing high-valued risk. Since then, my career path has focused on real estate, economic development, and investment management. Prior to becoming Treasurer of the United States, I was Managing Director of Investments for a $22 billion firm based in San Francisco. And I was asked by President Obama to be part of the Treasury transition team at the height of the financial crisis. Now, this background is necessary because you're going to see how my career has really come in full circle. So as I mentioned, I was nominated by the President in May of 2009, confirmed by the Senate that summer, and uh, immediately moved my family from Silicon Valley to Washington, D.C., where I served as Treasury of the United States, overseeing all currency and coin operations. I was also senior advisor to the Secretary of the Treasury on all matters of community development, so job creation, access to capital, small business lending. As you heard, I was the longest Senate-confirmed official in the Obama administration. And yes, it is my name on the lower left-hand side of U.S. money. So uh, out of the approximately $2 trillion of U.S. currency in circulation worldwide, my name is approximately on $1.8 trillion. So I can honestly say that no one has made more money than I have. Now, in 2011, Treasury hosted the Access to Capital Conference specifically to address the lack of IPOs during the financial crisis. That led to the formation of a task force who would ultimately make the recommendations to Congress for what became known as the Jumpstart Our Business Startups Act of 2012, which allowed for crowdfunding and set the ground for investment landscape that we have today. Now, who would have thought 10 years later that I would be asked to participate in an activity that captures the spirit of the Jobs Act of 2012 and has led to the democratization of access to capital? Unicorn Hunters is the culmination of the Jobs Act. So what is Unicorn Hunters? It is a web-streamed show that is like Shark Tank, but on steroids. So we are looking for the next billion dollar company, hence Unicorn. It's an investment platform that serves two primary purposes. One, it gives entrepreneurs the ability to access capital that would otherwise not be available to them. And two, it provides an opportunity for Main Street to invest in pre-IPO opportunities not normally available to them as well. So let's take a look at the short video and you'll see exactly why it's so innovative. Unicorn hunters. Unicorn hunters. Unicorn hunters. Unicorn hunters. Unicorn hunters. Boy, do we have a treat for you. A new series says, 
it could actually help viewers make money. Unicorn Hunters is looking for that next billion dollar idea from entrepreneurs. Searching for that billion dollar business, a unicorn. Far UV Technologies has developed Krypton disinfection lighting. Forte is a tech company that enables gyms to create a digital experience. The CVAC system is an air vacuum chamber. Mechanical treatment it solves climate change. Our technology now has the ability to predict health outcomes and save lives. What concerns me, your lack of ambition. 70 million in three years, that's not much. I love supporting small business, but is this a big enough market? To what degree it's a personal cost for you, and to what degree it's business? Why aren't you already a unicorn? Your gross revenue was $126,000. How are you going to increase that for 2021? Why are you doing this? So what's your why? Let's go, Nick. Let's go. Can I call my mom? Is, but you can find us on unicornhunters.com, where I am a co-host, along with Steve Wozniak, the co-founder of Apple, Lance Brass from the boy band NSYNC, and many of my other uh, hosts who allow, again, these entrepreneurs to come on the show and show us what it's going to take for them to be a billion-dollar company. Forbes recently referred to the show as the most iconic business series of recent times. Today, we've had over 16 million views, over $200 million in investment requests. This is, by the way, only two seasons' worth and over 124,000 subscribers. And it's an honor to be, such, uh, to be part of such a nominal phenomenon, thanks to the vision of our founder, Alex Kananikin. So now let's talk about uh, how this impacts Web 3.0, and specifically blockchain technology. And I want to start by saying I am also on the board of Ripple, which is XRP, uh, cryptocurrency. But I want to make something very, very clear. Blockchain is here to stay. The train has left the station. You're going to hear me quoted about that all the time. As far as I'm concerned, whether it's fractional real estate, whether it's art, whether it's NFTs, blockchain is not going away. And so the question is, how do we take advantage of this? So it's important to recognize, again, how the financial and investment landscape has changed specific to blockchain technology. You might have seen recently how President Biden has signed an executive order earlier this year to study digital assets over this next year. Now, I was honored to also be part of President Biden's Treasury Transition Team. In fact, I'm the only person in the world who's been on Obama's Treasury Transition Team, both terms of the Obama administration, and most recently, President Biden's Treasury Transition Team. I, call, I consider that a huge honor that I can serve my country in that way. So when President Biden signed this executive order to, to look at digital assets, we hope that the recommendations are going to accomplish several things. One, to encourage regulators to ensure sufficient oversight, to encourage the Financial Stability Oversight Council to identify and mitigate financial risks, to direct coordinated actions across agencies to mitigate illicit financing and national security risks, promote safe and affordable financial services, and finally, but not the last thing surely, to explore a U.S. central bank digital currency. Now, I led the Future of Money initiative when I was Treasurer of the United States, so this is a continuation of the work that was done under the Obama administration and that will continue aggressively throughout this next year in the Biden administration. So cryptocurrency is one of the greatest wealth disruptors and is the next investment frontier for the masses. But in order for there to be a true democratization, their extreme volatility has to be addressed. In fact, many investors sit on the sidelines because the cryptocurrency market is risky. So we at Unicorn Hunters and Transparent Business as the parent company have identified a need for securitized and transparent cryptos 
that address this while protecting investors from inflation to help manage risk. I would like to introduce to you Unicoin. It's a next generation coin that will be backed by assets and pay dividends to its holders and also, again, create an opportunity that otherwise did not exist in this form. Unicoin is a securitized digital asset and leverages equity positions on the companies that are part of Unicorn Hunters. I am very careful about what I promote and what I lend my name to, but this is a product I believe in, and I should also add that I'm also on the board of Transparent Business, which is the parent company of Unicorn Hunters and Unicoin. You will hear a lot more about Unicoin by our president, Silvina Moschini, who is also on the agenda uh, for this conference. So I will leave all the details to her. But I want to make sure that you know, again, this is something that I believe in and something that you will hear much more about around the globe as it really takes off later this year. Again, I am thrilled to be part of the Future Innovation Summit. You can find me at booth A3 today, where I and our team will be happy to answer any more questions. And if you come visit us and you have your US currency with you, I will sign your money as a souvenir. Happy to do it. And again, thank you so much for this invitation. I look forward to meeting as many of you as possible.